Hi YouTubers, it's me Spike tomorrow again. Anyways, uh, today's video was simply just because, hey, I'm just getting fed up with trying to read about this live coverage crap from msnbc.com. I do thank them for doing the coverage, but overall, BP and their stupid ass oil spill in the Gulf really just needs to kick it into high gear, get the shit fixed, and get it done with. Uh, in the bar below, and the, uh, I guess you, not the comments, above that, I can't think right now. Uh, I just got off the phone with BP. Uh, anyways, I have given them a seven step process of how to fix the entire problem. Now, needless to say, I'm not a genius, I'm not claiming to be, but it's really not all that hard to fix it, even with their pressure regulators and all that shit busted like they say it is, which I'm pretty sure there's somewhere they could shut it off at and fix the problem a hell of a lot quicker, but it's not about that. It's They just don't want to spend the money to actually go down there and fix it right away, in my opinion. But anyways, my version, I broke it down into seven steps and told them straight up how you got to do it. Step one, containment. Get the oil away from the land and back into the ocean it's a lot more manageable when it's out there. That, and it's not going to be affecting us while we're on land, if you do that. Step two, begin siphoning the oil up into oil tankers and getting it the hell out of the water. <coughs> Step three, while siphoning oil out of the water, keep the oil blocked into a large containment style unit that'll be stationary around the pipe so it doesn't go anywhere else. So far, so good. Real easy shit. You can build any of this. The oil tankers, you can build the blockades and crap all easily from land. I mean, you don't even have to have a full fledged oil tanker, even a big ass fucking rig that just has a simple pumping unit. You pull it out in the water, start siphoning it up. Oh my god, that's really hard. But they haven't even shown me any of that on their video feed or anything like that on coverage, so. Pretty sure it hasn't been done yet. Uh, step four, you get a massive tanker. Try and custom build one if you have to, but you get one that's got a double barreled system in it. One end sucking the oil up into it, the other end would be siphoning it out into smaller tankers that would bring it somewhere to dispose of it. Step five, you do what I call the handcuff system. You get a clamp style piece, you clamp it up around the actual uh, piping that's down there. Step six, latch it down, compress it around the tube. Even if you got to bend that a little bit, get it a little bit out of shape, it's going to have a hell of a lot smaller gap around that pipe. <coughs> That'll create a high pressure outflow. Anybody who's dealt with hydraulics will automatically know anything about PSI and will know anything you shove down into a pipe like they've been trying to do will get stuck a lot easier if it's not trying to go through a gap this big, or even just use common knowledge for that. Anyways, step seven, and my final step. You take those tar flats, like uh, they were called blacktops, I believe, back in school. Cut that shit up into like one inch by one inch chunks. Uh, basically, throw a whole crap ton of them down into their piping system where it starts. Alright, once those go down into there, because that pressure it's so high and shooting out through there. Imagine a hole this big and you got a chunk of plastic that's say this big. It's going to go. Okay, now you have no oil flowing out through there. And because that shit's like this by that, it's only about like that thick. All those will eventually block it completely up around all areas because it's naturally going to flow straight towards where water, oil, I don't care what the hell's coming out of the pipe. No matter what is coming out of there, it'll always go directly towards that. Once it seals it completely up, you send professional welder down there. Underwater welding, yeah, you're going to fork out a little bit because it's probably a high-end job for them to do this. But you seal that clamp completely around there. Then, all those excess tar pieces, like I told them, at this point, you've got a natural disaster on your hands anyways. Who the hell cares if you're going to have to spend a billion dollars and you're losing three billion? Eventually, they will make it up anyways. BP is a massive company. So, anyways, that's my seven steps. I just told them about it. Now I just told you guys about it. 
hit me back in the comments tell me what you think about my plan or if you got a plan of your own tell me and then I will also leave the numbers for you guys to get a hold of BP for the Gulf disaster so that you can tell them what your idea is and I will also give you a link to the video stream that I've been watching I should say I won't be giving you the number for the Gulf disaster but rather the link that is everything for BP through that disaster.